makes your bioethical viewpoints so controversial, do you think? Well, it's, it's highly controversial to try to uh, criticize the idea that all human life is sacrosanct. Um, it's particularly controversial in countries where there is a strong Christian influence. Uh, I now teach at Princeton University in the United States, and the United States is a much more religious nation than uh, most of Europe anyway. Um, so these ideas are controversial there. Uh, they do not accept uh, active euthanasia, uh, even voluntary euthanasia, anywhere, although there are now a couple of states that have uh, physician-assisted suicide, so the physician can prescribe you a lethal, uh, a lethal drug to take, but you have to take it yourself. They can't give you an injection. Um, so, so my views about euthanasia and uh, uh, the critique of the sanctity of life is very controversial in the United States and, of course, also in some European uh, countries uh, where there are still strong uh, Christian or Catholic in particular uh, ideas that are dominant. As a utilitarian, I don't think that there's a significant difference between saying, I want not to have my life continued, and saying, I want to have my life ended. I mean, in both cases, you're dead, and uh, in one case, it leaves it up to chance whether you need some life support to go on living, and in the other case, you make a deliberate decision. And uh, if somebody says, I don't want to leave it up to chance, I don't want to leave it to depend on whether or not I happen to need, uh, you know, my heart stops and I need to have uh, resuscitation. Um, if I'm in a certain state, I really don't want to go on living. So that seems quite reasonable to me. And one of those states, of course, would be if I were suffering from severe dementia and uh, no longer could recognize my children. Um, or something of that sort. My, my wife and I have discussed this and she said, look, if I can no longer read a novel, she's a great reader, right? And she says, if I get to the point where um, I have to, I'm rereading the same page, she, she mentions this because it happened with my mother who had dementia. Uh, she was also reading, but she, she, they came to the point where she couldn't read a novel because she couldn't remember what was on the page that she turned. So she was reading the same page 20 or 30 times. And my wife said, um, I would not want to live in, in that condition. And uh, had it been possible, um, I think my mother would not have wanted to live in that condition. But there was no legal possibility in Australia at that time of ending her life uh, or of her making even such an advance declaration. So, uh, yes, I, I do believe that that should be possible for all of us. And, and certainly for me, and I know for my wife, it would be a comfort to think if we deteriorate to a certain point, we don't have to live because um, I think it's not dignified. You, you don't want your family to see you. Uh, I felt that with my mother. She was a strong, intelligent, independent woman until she was 85. And that was a wonderful life that she had. Uh, but then the next five years that she had after 85 were downhill all the way. And I felt that not so much for me, perhaps, but for my children, for her grandchildren, who that so much coloured the way they thought of her, because that was the last five years of her, her life, um, uh, that it would have been better if she had been able to end her life or had been able to have assistance in ending her life. Maybe not right at the beginning, but once the dementia had got uh, really serious. Would it have been doable for you, you think, at that stage in her life? The point is that once she got to the, to the stage where she could no longer really express a wish or even understand the idea of uh, living longer or not, and, and she did reach that point, uh, 
At that point, I certainly would have been prepared to help her in dying. I, I would have liked to have medical assistance in doing that, of course. Um, but if, after consulting with a doctor and getting confirmation that this was an irreversible situation, that there was no prospect at all that she would recover any of her intellect, and that is sadly the case with dementia, um, yes, I think uh, I would have felt comfortable. Now, of course, there's other family involved. Uh, I have a sister and there are the grandchildren, as I mentioned. Uh, it's important for a family that, that there be support in this and that they understand. But, but if she had been able to express her will clearly beforehand, I think the family would have felt that they were doing what she wanted.